another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zeamont, and we're here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Competition Season Zero. It's the test season for the, um, basically the, the next evolution of the Iron Man series. If for some reason you've just stepped into my series at this episode well what the ultimate iron man is is a contest between youtubers around the planet um competing to basically not die <laughs> in imperial galactic survival and you have to run this scenario that uh, know-it-all dm has put together and and um um Captain Adonis, and they have uh, basically um, cooked up a scenario that will, there's, the only rules are there's, as long as you don't attack um, another purple named POI, you're okay. So, basically, the only purple ones that you can attack are the ones specified for that week. And it's basically, you do the purple one for the whatever is on that specified planet for that week. And um, so as long as if you go to a different planet, if, as long as you don't kill the purple name POI, you can wipe out the planet from what I understand. <laughs> As long as you don't so, attack the purple name yeah. POI until it's it's until that planet's week's mission is due, and then you can do it. But um, you know what? Let's eat something. We're starting to get starting to get down there. Ooh, look at the goodies we can make that we took with us. Uh, we've got lots of sprouts and stuff. So, well, we don't have very much spice, do we? I wonder if I should make some. Can I make any? I probably can't. No. Uh, I don't want to eat up too much spice. That takes up no spice. Let's make a cake. Woohoo! But it takes up eggs. Ooh, that's not a good thing. I shouldn't be eating my eggs. Uh, spice and that's meat bread cheese. Let's do the meat bread cheese. We're going to do some uh, fruit pie and meat burger. Okay, so while that's cooking up. I'm going to show you where we are. <clears throat> I have found, oh wow, I left my engines on. We can turn them off. We can turn them off. Whoop. As we settle into a uh, <laughs> non-level surface. Okay. Uh, well, let's jump out and we'll go take a look. So uh, you know what? We'll probably we probably don't even need the stuff that it's cooking right now. Let's we got. Uh, I mean, we've got emergency stuff on us. Don't really need any of that stuff. Uh, let's go loot the place for starters. What I want to do is I want to make this my home because this is actually an awesome base to take over it it has like one of the best gardens in the game for POIs um, if not the best it also has a, a, a fantastic medical center unbelievable um, residences and landing pads it's 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 really awesome <laughs> I think it's one of the best ones to dig over. So I was really excited to find it. Not only... Oops. Come on, can we... There we go. Not only all the way north, almost into the pole, but up on water. It's like... I was like... I don't... There was nothing there. I didn't see anything on my radar, so there's nothing along there. Uh, this, by the way, I found the purple POI. It's the abandoned factory, uh, which is which we're really close to. 
so this is going to make an awesome little temp base for us while we um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to try figuring out some sort of mechanical device either HV or SV that is going to make it so that we can do the abandoned factory with <sighs> this is the hard thing non-destroyable scorpion spawners <laughs> Yes, you heard me. Non-destroyable hidden spawners, uh, which all the, the hidden spawners are the scorpion spawners, I think. Uh, there might be some of the... There might be some of the, the, the undead aliens, too, that... Uh, I forget what the horrors. Yeah, horrors or whatever. There might be one or two of theirs hidden spawners, but... I think for the majority, there it's the uh, the in my opinion the toughest creatures in the game. Um, um, other than Xerax, other than troops with with weapons, but um, in the way of creatures, the the big ass bugs and those freaking scorpions are. <sighs> I mean, the scorpions will stack on each other three or four deep, jumping on top of you, poisoning you, parasiting you, doing all these nasty things to you. They have, like, more hit points than any creature in the game, it seems. Um, they're fast as hell. You can't outrun them. Oh, did we go? We didn't actually check the other one, did we? There's three others there. Let's do that. Um, yeah, just, just crazy. I, I, I don't know if it's actually doable. I don't know if anyone's done it yet with undis with <laughs> um, indestructible spawners. I mean, it just sounds ridiculous. I, I, I've never even fathomed the thought of doing the abandoned factory on hard settings is hard enough. And, but to do it with indestructible spawners. So it's going to backfill on you as you go through it. Or you might not even, you might, like some of those places on hard settings, they're just, they're going to spawn too quickly. You can't kill them fast enough. So I'm, I'm going to have to break out. The, the gadgets and gizmos hardcore. I think this is going to be the biggest challenge of that that the game has ever presented to me. Um, and I, I don't think this is actually intentional by by no old DM. I think he just missed <laughs> the the spawners is, is all maybe. I, I mean I'm I'm just assuming unless he's unless he's just super cruel because. <laughs> Non-destructible spawners in the abandoned facilities. Eek. Um, yeah, so... We are gonna have to... I don't even know why I'm going through it like this. And then I could have just... The, well, I couldn't, I couldn't loot those. I have to go up to them and loot them. Um, yeah, wow. Just... It's gonna be super, super tough. Maybe impossible. I've... I've well, I mean, I've never heard of anyone doing the abandoned factory with an admin core with indestructible spawners before. And then, and what if the core is non-destroyable? Um, I guess the, at this point, the, apparently the death is a buy. It's going to be considered a, a freebie death. Um, but, I think... I think I need to pick these.
these flowers. I think um, I can give it a shot with my knowledge that there is indestructible spawners. So I'm going to have to deal with them. I'm going to have to deal with respawns, hellishly fast respawns. So this, the place will be constantly swarming with stuff. And I'm suspecting that the shortcuts will be will be non-destroyable. Uh, so we'll have to like kick down the front door, which, I mean, the abandoned factory kicking down the front door on hard? Really? I know it's doable, but God. It's just with indestructible spawners. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to think a little bit where the rules state that we are allowed to do whatever we want to kill the core. We're allowed to do whatever we want to kill the core. So, I'm thinking, a POI, an interior, P, an interior POI busting machine of some sort. Anyway, I just, I don't even know why I picked those, that stuff. I just, whatever. I'm just going to make a core really quick here. Go smash that. I don't need all the stuff yet from picking all the, um, stuff and be full now, right? no okay let's eat that burger I mean there was a waffle in there wasn't there yeah a waffle eat the waffle too there we go let's carry the pie on me when I start getting hungry I'll eat it okay um Parish time 94. Actually, that's a really decent parish time. Health 25, food 158, stamina 10. Heh, not a bad thing. Not bad. Pie's pretty good by the look of it. I think I'm going to like pie. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much full, isn't it? I'll fit that in there. Okay. Well, let's make a core. And as long as we're fast enough, if we pop the core in, we should be able to save the plants from dying. It's not going to be a travesty if, it, if they all do. I mean, I've got all the sp sprouts still. Um, core. Okay, so let's go pop this thing. Oops, I should have checked for the critters. Okay. Now, it's probably not the greatest spot for the core, especially if a drone shows up, but I don't think drones are going to come all the way up this far north. So, I think we're going to be okay. Um, and because it's already an established alien neutral neutral civilian POI they're not going to actually come after it in my experience so far in the game unless something changed some sort of mechanic change in the game that I don't know about um, so we own this now it is ours so I think at this point what we want to do is we want to get some more gear into here uh, that one stupid little generator and 
whatever it's got for fuel right now ain't gonna freaking cut it. So we'll just fill that for now. We might as well fill that too. Because at least I can I can go inside and have oxygen. Um Okay, so we've got a fully functional base. We just need to throw some more gear into it, really. I mean, we've got a fully functional garden. Uh, I'll change up the sprouts and stuff, but and we'll, we'll get some medical stuff going. We also, I believe, have a vendor, do we not? Yes. Okay, so... Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's just buy it all right now. And what's the other one? The uh, infected wound, necrosis of the wound, dermal burn, frostbite, toxic, fever, organ fit, food poisoning, and Indigestion, poisonous bite, dermal immune, radiation. So, I'm thinking we need all these injections too, right? Instead of using up all of our high end healing, but we'll do that if we're really wounded too at the same time. But if we're just suffering from something. Because uh, I'll, I'll use up as much like of the fruit juice and these injections as I can, I think. So let's buy them up too. So that's fever attack, organ fit, food poison, intoxication, indigestion, poisonous bite. Poisonous bite. That's a... And he's got none. Great. Okay. Uh, Antiparasite. Yeah, let's buy those. And okay, I'm not too worried about the radiation stuff. Okay, so what about the antitoxic pills then? Poison bit? Not sure what that is. Food poisoning. Is that poison bite, but just not as bad? Radiation burn, antitoxic ointment, poison bit again. Antibiotic ointment. Uh, okay, so dermal parasite, any toxic ointment. I think that sounds really good. Poisonous bite and dermal parasite. Yeah. Okay, so. We're gonna. We don't have to do anything with our medical area, I think, because really, I mean. Although it's not very centralized right now. I guess we can loot everything. Sandwich. <laughs> really? Okay. We're gonna have a bunch of fridges, I think. Uh, and a bunch of crap. That's okay, I can sort all this off the camera. Whoa, what the, is that? Veron root. That's a for that Huh. Okay, I have not seen that before. It's effective against poisonous bite. Very cool. Okay. Saps your food and stamina, gives you, but it heals you 250. Holy crap. Is that like an instant heal then when you do it? I think it is. I don't really mind the food sap. Huh. Wonder where you get those. Wonder where you get those. I don't, I don't know where to loot those anymore. 
They used to be those those green spindly things, right? Out in the wild. Now I haven't seen those since like Alpha Eight. So maybe they'll introduce them back. Uh, okay. Well, there's more upstairs. I guess we can check out and see what loot they actually have here. But oh, come on. Uh, nothing and ooh that's nice yeah I'll take that that's all good stuff that was a nice little cabinet here and food okay I can grab all the fridge stuff later I'll organize them I can do it through the control panel and ammo you can't get these through the control panel though you can't get any of the tables and all that crap. You gotta go right up to them to loot them. Uh, okay. Well, that's it. But the fridges, you can go on through the control panel. See, so if I go like this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna redo this, and now we've got all these fridges. Looted already. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. So, I can just put all this stuff into one for now. We'll just use the top one. That's just fine. We can put that stuff in there. Excellent. Let's put this stuff away so it's not taking up extra space. Get that all stacked and get the milk in there. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, um, I guess what we really need to do is find a good spot to lay down all of our constructors and stuff, right? So I want it in oxygen. And I don't want to have to run all over the freaking place for him. I'm gonna want a furnace. I'm gonna want. So. I'm thinking I'm gonna turn this into a hangar here. Because it's already pretty well. I, I can just seal it up. I'll turn that into a hangar for the HV. And, oh, maybe have the furnace in there. Turn that into the construction room? That's not actually a bad idea. I can extend, I can get to it from, I can make like a, huh. Huh. I don't want to spend too much time working on this base, though. Because I'm going to leave it behind. So, uh, let's not get too ridiculous. I guess I could put throw stuff up here. Hmm. Or should I, um, Turn one of the smaller platforms into... I mean, we've got sealed rooms in these apartments. I guess I could use them. Since they're already sealed. Right. Knock all this crap down. Uh, bring it over to where all the food stuff is. Get all that sorted properly. Move all this crap out of here. I can use what I can use the one above it or over there for my apartment. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Um, there's a two by two there. I can knock that out. Get a two by two there. Um, 
I could maybe put the furnace over next door with like the generators and stuff because uh, it's gonna this base is gonna need more um, also the solar panels what I need to do is get those going right away so so realistically yeah let's um, did I not see an oxygen they didn't have an oxygen thing really I don't think they did have an auction dispenser, did they? Huh, that's funny. Doesn't seem like there's any critter spawns here either, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, I think we found a good spot. Okay. So. <laughs> what do we need to build here? Let's first start off. We're going to need. Um. I don't need to build a whole bunch of the big stuff though, right? Not, uh, here, let's just, let's just, no, let's, sorry, no, I can't, it's full. Um, that one, it's full. Well, there's my other sprouts, yeah. Um, and there we go, for sale. And extra armor, I guess I can put that for sale. Okay, here we go. So we've got a furnace. We've got a deconstructor. We've got an advanced constructor. Um, we've got the advanced constructor on the ship here too. So I'm not really sure how much more in the way of constructors and and stuff we're gonna need. Uh, okay, we've got a capacitor, another capacitor. Good, so we've already got some capacitors here. Do we have any solar panels? Yes, we've got 23 of the big ones. Okay, so let's get these capacitors out right away here. I think we need to get these in right away and the solar panels and start charging. So, and, uh, you know what? I might not even need to make anything because look at all the blocks I freaking have here. Like, what do I need to make? Not really sure. Okay, so we might need to use one of the large generators. So let's, I don't think there's an ATM here, so I'd like to throw that back up. Um, put some more fuel tanks up just because. Just because I got a crap ton of them. Might as well do more oxygen too. We can. Uh, what else? Doesn't have that many cargo boxes. Although I didn't go over to the other side and search them yet down below. Under in the, uh, I think there's more that I haven't searched. Um. I don't really know how many cargo boxes we're going to need, so let's just grab eight for now. Do we have, we've got hangar doors. You know, we've got regular steel blocks. I could build that hangar blow and really liquidy, lickety split, I think. We've got a ventilator. Uh, I used the lights already. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, that might be the way to go. Here, let me just grab some air here. Let's fill that back up, even though it... This CV actually has quite a few tanks in it. It, it takes a long time for me to really make a dent in its uh, capacity. Uh, okay, so I think what we need to do is get figure out where we're going to put these. Figure out where we're going to put everything, really, right? I mean, yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking, let's I'm thinking maybe hang. This is three. Uh, do I make this bigger and put a proper hanger in for the HV? Do I make this my construction room? Probably a good idea too. The problem is, I'm not sure if I can get. I'm not sure if I can get. Um, you know, let's let's find out. Hopefully, I can do this without having to. Can I get it down? Oh. Might be able to. Yes. Okay, so let's put a floor on this thing. <laughs> okay, and then. Ah, I missed it. Okay, so let's see if we can get. Come on. I don't want to dig it. I don't want to dig. Let me. Let me have this. Come on. Let me feel like I've accomplished something. Come on. I don't have my drill in my toolbar. Come on. <laughs> Blah. Okay, what about this? Can I, I just, just a little bit? Oh, 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 did I see it for a second? It, come on, it wants to, it wants to, it wants to go. It wants, it's, Okay, that's sorry, guys. I'll grab my frickin' drill. Cause, Cause, yeah, reasons. Let's grab the the one that I've been using already. Okay. Um. Okay, come on, get down there. There we go. Okay, so now that it's got a sealed floor, it might not look like it over here, but it is. Is it gonna let me put one in there? Nope, oh, had it. Ah, oh, come on. I mean, I don't need those sticking out there, but I'm. Th I was thinking I might put like uh, sentries on those or something, but. I don't know. I don't think there's any critter spawns around here. I just don't see anything. I don't think anyone cares about me out here. They don't care about me. <laughs> but they're gonna wanna. Maybe not after this mission, but soon. Uh, okay, let's quit fiddling with that crap. Now, well, actually, what I wanted to do is I should extend that out this way then, right? So let's do that. Let's extend that out. Come on. Right there. Doesn't have to be a very big hanger, because... 
Play HP is a peeny little frickin' thing. Ugh. Didn't get it. I didn't get it. Oh, darn it, I'm gonna have to zap it. Okay. Okay, and then, um... What do we do here? What do we do here? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six wide. Oh, that doesn't work very well. If I do the six by three door, six by three, I'm gonna have to do a wall here, right? Yeah. So let's do that. Come on. So we're gonna want to go like that. how much I love trying to do that. Okay, let's get the wall in here. You know what? I'm going to stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. It's annoying. It's annoying. I'll stop doing that. Okay, so let's get that up. Okay, so that's three. Hmm. Before, if I do a six by three and then the ceiling here. Yeah. Yeah, so. Straighten those blocks out. So we'll come in. Let's, like I say, I'm not spending a ton of time on this, guys. Uh, so don't expect a lot out of me in the way of building. This is a this is a camp competition of uh, intestinal fortitude, not of engineering okay so let's straighten this crap up oops I don't care about those rails Okay. I'm not going to bother with windows. Okay, that looks sealed. It's fine. Just want to seal this in really quick here. Should I just continue the... Yeah, you know what? I can just continue the... Uh, the wall then, right? So 
what if we what if we do something a little bit of design maybe oh like maybe something like this here we'll get this let's do it one lower and then Let's just, let's just, we don't even need to pop those out. We don't even need to pop those out. I'm not going to bother popping those out. Although we don't need, we don't need these ones here. And we don't actually need these ones either. It just looks better, is all. Okay. Come on. Thought it was a little bit lower. Okay, well, we'll just, um, darn it. My drill. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can just go there. We don't need to do excessive amounts. Okay. So, that's almost sealed. So, I wonder where we should put the furnace. Should we put a door somewhere here? A door on there? I think a door. There's a. See, this is really. Try and connect that. Connect into that. But it's just. It's off center there. Although I could. something like You know, it's not sealed right now. Let's, um, we don't need all that. We can just go like that. And we can put a door in here. Okay. This was just a, I don't know. <laughs> Because it just doesn't matter. Okay, and then do I have any doors on me? Did I bring any doors? No, I didn't think about bringing a door. No. 
Okay, that's fine. Let's let's get these in. We're gonna get these charging. Get the solar panels in. Get these in. Okay, so we can get in through there. We can get in through there. They're coming around. Okay. I'm just gonna. There we go. Okay. Okay, nice. Nice. I think this will work fine. Nice quick little solution to a problem. I even made it bigger. The CV might actually fit on it now. I could, ma I could make it even bigger, I guess. But, yeah, cool. I guess I could land the CV up there. But I, I want to do the HV here, so... Um... Okay, let's quit deadly delling. Let's get this stuff in. So let's do the We'll do these on the bottom. We'll do the more dangerous stuff up on the ceiling. Although what we will do right away what we'll do right away is we're going to modify these rooftops although I could you know what there we go we've got some solar panel Towers half built there. I can just extend those up a little further. Put all the sol solar panels up at the back. We put some more on the. Okay, first of all, let's just put as many as we can up here. Let's just start putting them up here. So we can put 15 of these up. And what I want to do is I want to put the the flat ones that are airtight and so we can do like see I should be able to get like a whole bunch of these on here okay so it looks like if I go like this and then this and then this oh yeah see they have major potential well let's that gives me nine oh you know what I can I can go like this I can just spin this around and we'll just that's four five we'll do that on the three uh, rooftops yeah absolutely let's get rid of this Okay, so we had one across the center. Doesn't really matter, like that's fine. And then, come on. Another one there. Another one there. So it says the the sun's gonna go down in twenty four hours. <laughs> uh, 
I love the North Pole. Okay. Hopefully this will be a lot closer to the sun too so that it will even be stronger the, because the planet's closer. I don't know if that makes a difference. It seems to out in space though quite a bit. Okay. And then last one. Get rid of that. And we'll just continue with the same. Layout of panels. See, it shows that the sun's not moving. It's literally just stuck there permanently. <laughs> uh, okay. get this finished that up there and there okay so we can't place anymore see how it's red now it's not gonna let us place anymore because we're at the max we just have extras I mean these are all ones from looting we loot these okay so we now have supplemental power um, from what looks to be a sun that will never set. Now, I don't know how much it's kicking out. Not much at all, and it's going down, so I'm not... I think the sun's, I think it is going down. It's just all screwed up. I, I think it's going down. I don't know now. But it's not, it's not, um, it's not charging the battery because it's not actually putting out enough juice and it's going down, the consumption is higher. So let's deal with the consumption. All this equipment. Medical stations. Um, and deco. So we really need to go take out all the deco. Yeah. Okay, what are the alien devices? Oh, NPC spawners. Okay. That's for the cops. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's finish this off. Get our constructor in deconstructor and we'll start deconstructing stuff um, okay hmm they're not lit up so I'm not sure what's going on with that I thought they'd be lit up anyway, even if... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I should have got... Uh... Here, let's let's go grab a door. We'll seal this up, put uh, the ventilator in. So we can start breathing. Okay. Oops, that's not it. Any of that crap. 
Okay. Can't use that, can't use that, we don't need that. Okay. So, doors. So, let's get this in. And our temperature should, yep, there we go, 22. So it's sealed in here. And those haven't lit up. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what's going on with that. I think I might have to log off and log back in for it to set. Uh, in fact, let's try that. Although, yeah, in fact, let's do that. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. And in fact, this will be exactly a perfect spot to just take a quick break. And I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. You guys probably didn't notice anything, but <laughs> I was gone a while. Okay, uh, we're getting the oxygen situated here, so let's do that. Don't need the doors now. Um, so let's, just right there. That's probably fine, eh? Oops. Okay. Nice. There we go. We've got oxygen. <clears throat> um, yeah, that should be just fine. Okay. What else? What else? We've got lots of stuff to put away here. Uh, I really want to get this furnace going because we're going to get a bunch of ore going into it with the uh, mini miner going out here. So, um, what do we got in the way of storage right now? We've got nine cargo boxes. So let's check these out. Nice. Okay, so the top one, let's just throw some stuff in there for now. Oh, let's grab that. Put that there. Uh, we don't need that. <coughs> Don't need that. 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 Put that up in there. Okay, we'll hold on to that because that can make oxygen. Speaking of, we are fairly low, but but right now there's oxygen in the room, so we're not going to suffocate as long as the room doesn't run out of oxygen, which it eventually would. But that's okay. Um, we can put down. Don't we have a, oh, come on, do we not have, an oxygen station and stuff like that? Come on, really? I'm pretty sure we did. Wow, no oxygen station. Okay, well, I guess I'm making one. Yeah, we've got some armor lockers. That's, those will come in handy. Uh, they'll have food processors and fridges on the base already that we can move around. <coughs> okay. Yeah, that's good enough. What about lights? Yeah, let's grab some lights. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we need more steel blocks? We may. We may. We'll put the large generator in. I'm not sure if the solar is going to handle the Jenny going if there's... I don't think one little generator is going to handle it anyway. So let's... I mean, realistically, it doesn't... 
use up more fuel, that's determined by your devices that, that you're powering. So, I mean, it's free. That would be the only limiting factor in my eyes is constructing it, and since we've looted it. Okay, the reason why I want to do this is because I want to move that crap outside um, into here, all the oxygen and everything and all the all that stuff. Okay. Um, realistically, though, how are we going to get the furnace? Do we have to make like a... You know what, I think we gotta modify this here. Let's let's take we should be able to take it right out, right? Yeah, because those are even though they're angled, it's technically supporting it, it should be fine. Oops, I should have uh that was stupid. Let's turn that off. Um, I probably just wasted a bunch of oxygen, didn't I? Hopefully I grabbed it in time. Okay. Well, whatever. There's water right over there. I can start sucking on that. Um... Yeah, it's just that I need those corners. Sorry. <laughs> but the building has to be adjusted here. It wasn't working for me. And technically... Let's just go like that. Oops. Oh, stop it. You know what, we can get away with just doing this. Let's do this. Right here. And get rid of this. Yeah, I know my oxygen level. I know my oxygen level is getting dangerously low. Okay, well that's why I didn't do that. You know what? Well, I gotta. I gotta. So that means I'm gonna knock this down. That's fine. It doesn't need the rail if there's gonna be a wall there. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, you stupid thing. Did you? No, it doesn't matter. That's fine. That'll seal. Although, that looks stupid. So, let's change that. Okay. Hmm. Now what? Here, you know what? Let's just level that off. Eh, it's a little ugly. Whatever. Um. Okay, well, I think it's sealed again. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, right. This is actually not going to be big enough, is it? So let's. So the furnace is going to have to come out. Because that's going to be. So there, should we do the furnace there? Yeah, 
It's all attached there, technically. Let's get rid of these. doesn't matter if it's like that. Okay. So, now we've just got one big box, really. So I took all the character out. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, whatever. Eh. You know what? Here, let's do, let's build the room here. Do the furnace. Do the furnace like this. Stop it. Come on. We're going to come out. Come on. Oh, it won't go any further because the ground starts going up. Okay. I get what's going on. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm like, what's going on? Ah, right. Okay, so it starts going uphill. Oh, I had it for a sec there. It's super hard to kind of... Uh, okay, I'm not going to fiddle with that. Let's get the drill back. I didn't think I was uh, going to be using the drill, but <clears throat> when looking at how big the furnace is, I think uh, it's really, that's the only choice we really have. Um, okay. One, two, three. Okay, so so we still got to come out one more. That's one, two, three. So we can go like this. Okay. Yeah, we can go like that. And then just pull this to that. That in there. So one, two, three, and then that stuff here no oxygen oh <laughs> i forgot about my oxygen guys <laughs> oh, freaking hilarious oh my god <sighs> Oh. See, get <laughs> too complacent, too complacent. Whew. Okay, come on, Zlot, get back into the Iron Man frame of mind here. Whew. Okay, gotta firm up. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm going to do it to myself again, aren't I? Okay, before I do that, let's put a freaking... Um, 
let's go fill up our oxygen for starters. Fill it right up, I don't care if I'm wasting it. Okay, I don't know if it does. Like I say, I don't care. Anyway, I need some food. Uh, we've got our pizza here. That was the bulk of it. And then we can do something for like just over 100. I'll have a steak. Like a 150. Well, there we go. One of those. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to throw more equipment in to this thing and get it finished off. Uh, next episode, this will be all ready. And we will start thinking of we're going to start thinking inside the box how to fly inside the box okay that's how we got to think either how to fly inside the box or how to get how, how I don't know how to how to use heavy armor freaking <laughs> something sv hv i think we can do it we're allowed to i think i can pull something off we'll we'll try developing it here and see if we can make it work we'll go live field test so next episode um a little bit of testing testing and trying different things so, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>